Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to solve math problems that involve triangles and missing angles either inside the triangle or outside the triangle. And in order to do that, we need to know a few things. The first one is this one here, and that is that an exterior angle of a triangle is always supplementary to its adjacent interior angle. What that means is this 120 degree angle is an exterior angle. Angle D up here is an exterior angle. So I know that this angle here, 120 degrees, and angle B here adjacent to it on the inside of this triangle, 120 and angle B are supplementary. Or 120 degrees plus whatever angle B is equals 180 degrees. So that's the first thing we need to know. The second one is here that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So that's pretty self-explanatory. The triangle has three angles inside it, this 50 degree angle, angle A, and angle B. And I know that 50 degrees plus angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. The final thing we need to know is this one here, that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. That one needs a little explanation maybe. So this angle here, this exterior angle 120 degrees, is adjacent to angle B. But we want to compare that to the two non-adjacent interior angles, which are these two over here this 50 degree angle and angle A. So we know 120 degrees is equal to 50 degrees plus angle A. And in the same way over here, this exterior angle, angle D, is equal to these two non-adjacent interior angles added together. So angle D is equal to 60 plus 80. So those are the things that we'll need to know. Let's get started. The first thing we will do, when I'm looking at this one, the, the, you can start this a couple of ways, but the obvious one to me, the most obvious one to me, is this one here. I can see that these two are adjacent angles. These two are going to uh, be supplementary. So angle B plus 120 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Once we know that, it's easy to solve for what B is. B would just have to be 180 minus 120 degrees, so angle B must be 60. From there we can use another fact. Well, that one was right here. That the exterior angle is supplementary to its adjacent interior angle. From there we can use this fact here that the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the other two um, non-adjacent interior angles. So here, I know angle 50 plus angle A is equal to 120. So what's angle A have to be? A must be 120 minus 50, or A must be 70 degrees. So I've solved for both of those two missing angles. I could actually solve for that differently if I wanted. I could solve it in a different way. I could make use of this fact here, that the angles inside the triangle all add up to 180. So I could say angle A plus angle B plus this 50 degree angle is equal to 180. And since I already solved for that B is 60 degrees, I can say A plus 60 plus 50 is 180 degrees. And 60 plus 50 is 110, so A plus 110 is 180. Or A must be 180 minus 110, which again gives us A equals 70, just like it did over here. So we have multiple options for solving some of these problems. Let's try the next one. In the next problem, over here, we have two interior angles that we know, 60 degrees and 80 degrees. That interior angle, angle C, is unknown, and the exterior angle, angle D, is unknown. And again, we could start this in multiple ways. I'm going to start with this fact here, that the sum of the angles 
inside the triangle is 180 degrees. So, over here, 60 plus 80 plus angle C equals 180 degrees. And 60 plus 80 is 140. So 140 plus C is 180, or C is 180 minus 140. C has to be 40 degrees. So now I know that angle C here must be 40 degrees. From there, how do I get that angle D? Multiple ways. We have multiple options. One is to simply use the fact that they are angle C and D are supplementary. They are supplementary, they are adjacent angles to each other, together they form a straight line. So I know then that angle C plus angle D equals 180. And since I just solved that C is 40 degrees, I can put that into this equation. So 40 plus D is 180, which means D would have to be 140 degrees. 180 minus 40, D has to be 140 degrees. A different option that I could have used for solving this one, once I know this, I could also just use this fact here, that this exterior angle, angle D, is equal to the other two interior angles added together. So 60 degrees plus 80 degrees equals angle D, so D has to be 140, which is the same result that we got using the other method that D was 140. So in this case C is 40 and D is 140. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, there are lots of different ways you can solve these but they're all going to involve these three pieces of information here. That the adjacent angles here are supplementary, that the three angles inside a triangle, the three interior angles add up to 180, and that an exterior angle is equal to the other two non-adjacent non -adjacent interior angles added together.